You want that piggy, piggy, piggy martini? Oh, thought we lost it, didn't you? Daddy? Yeah, martini. I want my piggy, piggy, piggy right now. Get it. Get that piggy, piggy, piggy. Take that, you all piggy, piggy, piggy. That's right. I'm Martini. I'm the piggy, piggy, piggy killer. Woo. Let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have that piggy, piggy. Woo. Get it. Get it. We are sure enjoying our new throws. Take that, you old piggy, piggy, piggy. That's right. Good, baby. I got it. Did I did good, didn't I, Daddy? You did real good, baby. Real good. Hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm. me I'm doing okay here in Apache Junction stay with my friends Frank and Tammy that beautiful class A behind me and their Dodge pickup truck kind of surprised me it started raining last night everything smells like well I can't smell anything but it's nice and cool. I guess my smell kind of went out with my taste. Throwing away my trash this morning. Give you a, a 360 where I'm at. I'm at the Elks Lodge in Apache Junction. But why are you there? Well, number one, it's close to Phoenix. Number two, I'm with my friends. Number three, the view. We're not going to do a full 360 because that's just a building. Just a touch of wind this morning. You know, I've got a new case for my Samsung S10 phone that I shoot my videos with. Don't seem to have near the wind issues I had before. Superstition Mountain. Isn't that nice? My buddy's Riker right here his pride and joy now that would be low enough to get into Lady B's garage unfortunately it's too wide how close did we get it about five inches he keeps this thing spotless but it has some dust on it and it rained on it last night he let me ride this thing for a little bit it's quite interesting <clears throat> it was a lot of fun. And here, the Superstition Mountains. Don't mean to move y'all around too much. This road right here. A lot of motorcycles go back in here. A lot of canyons and stuff. Far back in Oregon, there's, a, there's a, like a ghost town gold mine back there. A lot of camping. So I left the pines for the cactus. Beautiful. But I'm going to say goodbye to my friends. We've got things we got to do. Okay, back in the RV. I said bye to my friends, Frank and Tammy. They've been, oh, they've been such a blessing to me, taking me where I needed to go, supporting me, just being good, kind friends. So, uh, went to the doctor yesterday. What's that running? Oh, they fired up their generator next door in that big old pretty Class A. Let me rest my arm here. Uh, they didn't do a, a CT scan. It surprised me. 
I, I'm almost certain he told me he was going to do a CT scan, but he didn't. But they did my blood work. And, oh gosh, I hope I can remember the numbers. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I went back and cheated and looked at these numbers. So they were looking at kidney function. And my baseline numbers was 160, 1 1.60. And he was actually kind of thought that was pretty good uh, right after surgery. And he said, that looks like it's going to be your baseline. And so my new numbers came back 1.47, 147. And he said, Kevin, my urologist, he's the guy that cut the tumor out of me and my kidney and all the surrounding tissue. He's like, that's really good. That's really good. He said, is it, it's not as good as having two perfectly functioning kidneys, but it's about the best you can expect. Um, now he might've looked for markers in my blood for anything else returning. But uh, he says, Kevin, you need to come back in uh, mid to late June and let's do that CT scan. Uh, he said, this will be the most important scan you'll get. They're going to continue scanning me for two years. But for some reason, this first one's big deal. So I got to hydrate real good before and after because they use uh, the dye or whatever. Contrast. So it looks like I'll come back down into the furnace. I'm getting out of here before the heat. It's nice and cool this morning, but I know the heat's coming out here. But come June, won't be no way to avoid it. 114, 115, 116. Caroline kept the babies while uh, we were gone. It's good to see her and Ron and uh, didn't stay but just a second. So I got some things I need to do today. Y'all might as well come with me. Y'all doing anything else? No, you're sitting here watching the video. Might as well watch it a little bit longer. Okay. Let's get our day going. Just stopped and visited with my friend Ron. Going to see if I got any mail that might have been delivered after I left here. Stopped and saw Caroline yesterday. Yep, yep, yep. Ron and Caroline sure did a lot for me, helping me when I was sick. Who's here? Well, why wouldn't we be here? That's right, that's right. I've been visiting with Ron. We hug your neck. <laughs> so, what are you doing here? Uh, well, yesterday when we left, I saw Ron walking and uh, I was with my friends and we couldn't stop. She had to use the bathroom <laughs> and I say, Hey Ron, I was like, Oh, and he, he, he actually wondered, <laughs> he mentioned, it was kind of weird. Yeah. Well, we, well. we kind of had to go, okay. when but you gotta go, you gotta go. we wanted to come back and say, Hey to him, say, Hey to you. And thank you for taking care of the hey. babies yesterday. I know I want to see my babies. All right. You know, Martini played you <laughs> with, the, with the hurt leg. She wasn't really hurt. She just planned for your sympathy. No <laughs> way. Well, she got the drugs for it too. Well, she got you. Turned I, you her know, into an I, addict. You probably, you probably, she probably jumped off the couch and did hurt it, but she wasn't hurt as bad as she can put up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm scared to go that far. Okay. Hi, honeys. Hi, Kathy. Were we all good for her yesterday? Yeah, we, we, so we, we, we were awesome. Martini, Martini, you know, she jumped off the couch and acted like she was hurt and stuff. But. She was hurt. Weren't she, you, Martini? She has a luxating patella. It just has healed. Kind of, sort of. Come here, baby May Mays. I know you. I know you love that. I know you love Caroline. So if you, if you got a favorite, you got a favorite? Oh God, no! They're all I. Could, you, you change your you change your mind daily. Well, it's like all pick, for different a reasons. <laughs> yeah, you can't pick a favorite kid. And uh, you said you didn't have any makeup on. You look fabulous. Oh, thank. You. Well, I have lipstick on. Well, that, there you go. It's good. Good to see you all again. Good to see you too. I'm still kicking.
well it's the next day and I've traveled mm, maybe a hundred miles north out of Phoenix well, why would you do that Kevin well I went into Gilbert and uh, went to Santan Solar these beautiful yellow leaves falling off the trees here springtime in Arizona little bushes putting flowers on how pretty they got some kind of bird here making a weird call I'm not used to I'll let you out in a minute Tuck in fact I need to walk you walk you some I need to walk and you need to walk kind of show you I'm gonna tell you exactly where I'm at a lot of people recognize places I might be here a day or so. It's a beautiful, beautiful town. It feels very, um, it feels very wealthy. I mean, this, this is Arizona, but it's got grass and trees and lakes and water fountains in the lakes and hundred dollar bills laying all over in the grass when you go down the road. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I got my cross rehung. Looks a little bit better. But let me show you what I got at Santan Solar. Step, I step back inside because the wind started up again. Um, a lot of y'all commented that you like my goatee being gone. Said it'll maybe look younger. Really hadn't thought about trying to be younger or look younger, but. I guess it does. If I can get down to 220 pounds, 225, I'll shave my beard and mustache. How's that for a deal? <laughs> but uh, I went by Santan Solar yesterday and I picked up some solar panels for the Bigfoot. Yeah, man, we, we need some solar and stuff. Yeah, yeah, those two batteries just, it's not quite enough. Tell you what, I have a mess in here. I moved everything that was in the basement. He, he moved it. He moved it in here. We didn't have no place to walk or nothing. Well, Tucker, as soon as we get back to uh, RV base camp in uh, New Mexico, I'll get rid of all this extra stuff. I really hate that that refrigerator does not fit anywhere in here. It was a good fridge. Yep, yep, yep. You go, you're going to show them the solar panels or just stand there? Thanks, Tuck. You're welcome. Still using my stick to hold open my, uh, my garage bay here. I got to get new struts. But uh, they loaded it with a fort lift. Took me forever to get it cleaned out good enough. But... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I got six solar panels. They are, I think they're 78 by 39 and a half. They're made by Jinko, J-I-N-K-O. They are used. I paid $118 a piece for them, and they're rated at 385 watts a piece. My math says that's 2,310 watts of solar. Only three will fit on the roof. <laughs> the skylight in the living room messed me up by about that much. If it wasn't for that skylight, I could have got five on the roof. So you got six panels and three fit on the roof. Where do the other three fit? I'm glad you asked me. The other three I'm going to cover one window with one there, put one there, put one there. And what they'll do, I'll have them where they raise up, there'll be a window awning and a solar panel. So basically 1250 or so watts on the top, 1250 on the seal, on the, on the roof. It'll be pretty massive. 
go back around here. We'll sit inside the garage so I can talk, get away from the wind. So why so much solar? Well, I already got the batteries. I already got those six Battleborns. These solar panels are cheap. $118 for 385 watts and they're warranted. Good for 25 years. These panels are only two years old before they were taken out of service. Yeah. Um, my heat pump. 1280 watts on Miss Gypsy. I was able to run the air conditioner all I want. But the to run the heat part of it, I didn't have enough power. And you also may remember I put the, one of the panels tilted on top of Miss Gypsy. Still wasn't enough. So being down in Quartzsite, being down here in Arizona, the sun is so low on the horizon that the panels didn't get light on the top. But if I got them on the side of the RV facing out, I can aim it toward the sun and surely, surely that will be enough. Then I can run this whole, I'd heat and cool this thing entirely off of uh, solar. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I can. Let me in, let me in. I ain't stopping you. You got that right. You ain't stopping me. Can't wear my hat in my house. Didn't need to wear a hat in the house, no way. Okay, that makes today's video. So, you guessed it. Where am I going to end it? Right here. People say, quit looking into the camera. Quit looking at yourself, Kevin. Well, my eyes aren't exactly straight. I had four operations as a child to try to straighten them. I'm doing the best I can do. All right. So I'm going to end this little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ is my Savior. Bill Oaks was my best friend. Missing. Okay. That's what I wanted to say. I gotta go. Bye.